Hey, I'm Gary Strigler, and today in the shop, I'm working on making a custom, uh, kind of a craftsman style walnut mantle for our client. And because we don't have much room in order to get a good bit of mantle projection, we're making some custom corbels. The way that I made this corbel is actually pretty simple. It just involves three router bits and a jigsaw and a couple of little tricks I want to share. So the first thing I did is I drew out a pattern which I got my client to approve. I came back after drawing it and cut it and really kind of trued everything up. From this pattern, I made these outside pieces. Now as you see, it steps back in the middle. So how did I get a pattern that really exactly follows this outside but just steps back about a half an inch? Well, here's the secret. I took this rebating bit, which is a half inch rebating bit, and I, I made, first thing I did is I, I made, made an exact duplicate of this piece by simply tacking this to another piece of wood that I cut sort of close to the profile with a jigsaw. Then I used a flush trim bit. The two pieces were attached together with the bearing riding on my original pattern, I made an exact duplicate of the original pattern. But then, to move that pattern back that half an inch, I did this. I ran and made a, a half inch rebate around the whole curve. Then I came back with a flush trim bit, like so. And when the flush trim bit rides on that half inch rebate that I made, you get a flush cut and that moves it back exactly a half an inch. So then I had my original pattern, another pattern that sticks back basically a half an inch. I made the four outside pieces using this pattern, again, cutting them close to the jigsaw and then flush trimming them. Those we then took a round over bit and just soften the edges on them, sand them a little bit. And to make the middle pieces, I started out by attaching this pattern, the step back pattern, to a piece of walnut that I cut pretty close with a jigsaw. Now here's where it varies a little bit. Once I had flush trimmed that original piece of uh, walnut to match this pattern, I pried this pattern off of it. And all I'm doing every time that I do that is using some about inch and, and 3 16 inch and 3 8 headless pins because they make a very small hole but about three of them will keep it from moving and you just shoot through the pattern into the piece of walnut pry it apart wiggle those headless pins back and forth and they break off so now i had this is it one piece that exactly matched the pattern I cut another piece that with a jigsaw that was close and we clamped and headless pinned and glued those two together. Now if you look at this piece, there's just the slightest little detail in there. It's just a tiny, tiny little V groove and that keeps me from having to make an absolutely perfect joint because I used this bit and all the bits that I've been using are white side router bits. This bit, which is a flush trim bit that has, I'm going to try and get close, just the tiniest little uh, end on it that cuts that V groove. And so by lining up, it up so that that V groove falls right where the two join together, I can flush trim it to where they're you know, as close to exact duplicate as possible. And that little V groove gives me just a tiny bit of forgiveness. So when we clamp and glue the whole thing together, we end up with this great looking custom walnut corbel. 